This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas, and so, this past weekend, um, we had a couple of betas going on. Um, there was the Decidia Final Fantasy NT beta I got into, yes, I got into that closed beta, um, and of course, the big one that everybody was hyped for, the Call of Duty World War II exclusive beta for PS4, um, and yes, I got into that. That was easy to get into. All you had to do was pre-order. Um, for those who have Xbox One and PC, next weekend will be when you guys get to get your hands on it. So, um, look forward to that, I guess. Um, here's the thing about the World War II beta. I didn't want to play it. I don't know why I got it. I guess I got it because I always told myself, it's free. Might as well try it out. But with Call of Duty, it's 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 very very hard for me to do so, um, and that reflected in what happened this weekend. So I was sitting here, I was done with like schoolwork, everything, and I was like looking at TV, and I was like, you know, you should be playing this beta, Michael. At least play one, give it a chance. Come on. And so I fired it up. I played one match. I went one and eleven. And through the whole match, I'm just sitting there laughing and shaking my head. And I just, I was just like, oh my God, is it over yet? Is it over yet? And once it was over, I turned it off, completely off. And I have never touched it again. Now, you think most people would be like, yo, I got to improve. I got to play better. Um, you know, that sucks. Why would I want to go 1-11? That's awful. You know, shit. Most people wouldn't even tell you this. Me, personally, I, I, I just don't care. And that's the point of this. Um, There's just some things that you just can't force yourself to like when it comes to gaming. And shit, when it comes to life, period. You can't make yourself be into something. Um, You have to... I, I feel like it's not cool unless you naturally care. Or you naturally are interested. If you're not... It's it's a hard, hard, hard road to walk down. Um, and that's how I am with Call of Duty. Um, I know everybody's excited. Boots on the ground now. We're back to tradition. Blah, blah, blah. It didn't make that big of an impression. If anything, um, just to give a brief opinion, I was kind of disappointed because, again, same old engine. Um... So you get same animation, same, uh, you know, look, feel to everything. Um, in some ways, it seemed like it regressed. But at the same time, I'm not going to hold myself to that opinion. Because I have to remember, this is a beta. You're not going to get the full-fledged, you know, polished um, look and feel to everything. You know, they're, they're testing things out with an older build. Um, but it just, there was just nothing about it that grabbed me. It was just like, okay, I could probably have put in an older Call of Duty, like World at War, and had the same experience, um, to be quite honest. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I just can't, you know? um, and I think I'm gonna stop doing these betas for it, because, you know... I did the beta for the one last year, and I was just like, eh, and I think I did the same thing. I played one. I may have played three matches last year, and just was like, okay, I've done my due diligence, boom, bye. That's it. Um, yeah, I just can't get into Call of Duty. Um, I've never been able to get into the console Call of Duty, I should say. One and two on the PC... I was okay with uh, never touch three, so I can't tell you what that was like. Um, the first console, Call of Duty, but like from Modern Warfare on, it's like Modern Warfare was okay. It was cool. 
two, that was the one that broke me. Um, everything after that is just like, why bother in my mind? It's it's not it's not the play style of the game for me. And I think that's something that we should re- try to remember. Um, even as content creators, if it's not for you, you might not want to like go ahead and pick up a game just because you know right now it's the hot thing. It's what everybody's watching because it'll reflect in your content. Like if I were to put up this Call of Duty gameplay, one I'm not gonna put up a one eleven gameplay um, unless I'm gonna sit there and clown it all day. Uh, cause I have put up like bad gameplays of myself before and clown myself. Um, that being said, um, even if I got a good gameplay, I'm not going to put it up because you guys would know that I'm not really into this by the way I'm talking. I mean, you could hear it in my voice now. Um, talking about Call of Duty is not an enjoyable thing for me cause it's not a game that I enjoy. Um, not saying it's horrible. Not saying that it's an un, it's a game that no one can enjoy. It's I'm saying for me, and that's the thing. You have to know what it is for you, and recognize that, and just don't go down that path. Because I don't want to put out that stuff and do content and try to pretend. Some people are very good at it. I'm not. Um, you know, but people can tell when you're being phony. You don't want to have that as a content creator, and as a gamer. Period. You don't want to buy something and then sit there and just rag on it that's why i understand people who continue to buy it to see if they're gonna like it if you feel like call of duty is over or is not as not worth it in your mind anymore don't do it just don't fucking do it because you're just gonna make yourself worse and knowing that you paid for something that you think is fucking garbage or that you don't care for so I don't know. It, it like I said, not everything is meant for everybody. Sometimes things run its course. You know, you get over it. And you should just move on. Don't try to force it. Um, I think I've officially completely moved on now. After that experience, um, I may touch it again if someone asks. I don't know. I just I just have no interest. But anyway, as always, you guys feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll haunt you later. This is your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.